Hi to all my wonderful children out there. I hope you're good. Yes, and uh, do let me know that. Okay, and uh, I definitely know there are lots of doubts around comet care counseling as well as the fear refund and things like that. I am trying my best to reply to almost all the comments out there. Okay, some of them I might not be able to reply because I do not have a proper answer for it. As Comet K have not published anything about the same, so it will be very wrong for me to say anything. So yes, uh, so uh, what do you call, stay updated, I will be updating you with anything that comes up in their official website. And I saw a lot of you asking about the fee refund thing, even though I explained in a video that is uh, online counseling video where I explained all the steps around counseling, step by step process and things like that. Uh, I find, I found that uh, some of you probably were not able to understand, so this video is a exclusively for that also if you have doubts regarding document uh, what do you call whatever documents you have to submit I have made a separate video the entire fee structure that they have put up that also have made a separate video so you can watch it okay uh, if at all you think you need help okay and I think I am trying my best to help you well definitely let me know that as well okay whether I am doing a good job or not okay so talking about the fee that you have to pay my dear children i am not talking about the fee that you would have to pay to college once you get allotted to the college listen there are two fees that you have to pay to comet k one i think everyone knows that it is the counseling registration fee for, uh, a thing that you have to do for participating in the counseling process right so there you have to pay rupees 2000 apart from that there will be some convenience charge as well which is non refundable okay please understand it is non refundable once you have paid that amount whatever is the scenario whether you get a college you do not get a college you accepted a college you rejected a college whatever it is you are not going to get this particular amount back please understand that okay now it has to be paid during the 9th of june 2025 to 18th of june 2025 that is a period for registration as well as for submitting your documents now once your documents are being verified now starts what the counseling rounds and suppose during the counseling rounds you are allotted a particular college okay in that scenario they will ask you to pay certain amount what is that amount that is the total fee i will tell you in what all scenarios you would have to pay listen to me what is total fee so total fee is basically tuition fee plus the other fees apart from that the same thing the convenience charge would also be there so the tuition fee which is put down by uh, comet k as well as the uh, uh, what do you call uh, the associated institutions is this much so it can be either 281100 or it can be rupees 2 lakh okay either this or that depending on what your college chooses for example rvc chose this BMS chose this, for, then for BMS the tuition fee would be 2, 2 lakh, whereas for uh, RVC the tuition fee will be 2 lakh 81,000, it depends on college to college, okay. Now the next fee that you have to pay is other fee, so tuition fee, fee sorry not fee, tuition fee plus the other fee is equal to total fee. Now other fee can go up to 20,000 rupees, this is given in their official document. So the exact amount is not being put up, but they have mentioned that maximum okay it can go to what 20,000 rupees so what are the two scenarios that you can get the total fees which is there now can be either 2 lakh 81,000 plus 20,000 this is the maximum I'm taking okay it, it will be obviously very let's hope so so in that case the maximum amount that you have to pay is rupees 3 lakh 1,100 rupees plus apart from that there will be some convenience charge that you would have to pay as I told you earlier Apart from that, suppose on the uh, the next scenario, which is instead of two lakh eighty one, it is two lakh rupees. Then two lakh plus twenty thousand, that is the other fees, is two lakh twenty thousand rupees. That would be the total fee out there plus the convenience charge. Now, when and all do you uh, what do you call? Uh, do you, would you have to pay this particular amount to Comet K in three different scenarios? Okay, one is accept and freeze, other is accept and upgrade and the third one is reject and upgrade. What do you mean by accept and freeze? Suppose ma'am, in the first round itself, I got RVSE college, I am pretty happy about it. I went with accept and freeze in that particular scenario. It means that I want this college and I do not want to go ahead with counseling process because in the first round itself, I got my seat. Okay, so in accept and free situation, what you have to do is you would have to pay the 
amount of this particular the total fees for RVCE college. So suppose you paid over here and you said that I have frozen the seed, this is mine, nothing else. Okay, done. So amount you have paid there. Now next scenario is except an upgrade scenario. Where what is happening? For example, in round one, I got MSRIT college. Now is MSRIT bad? No, it's a good college. But I want to see whether I can get RVC in the next round. So what would I do? I don't want to lose this seat, but I would just go try to go ahead. So I will accept the seat, okay? But I would want an upgrade. I would look for an upgrade in the next round. So while you're accepting the seat, Comet case says that you would have to pay amount, pay the tuition, sorry, the total fee for that, then only we can uh, agree that, okay, you have accepted it. So, in that condition, again, my dear children, you would have to pay the fees for MSRIT, okay. Now, in the second round, suppose, in the second round, since you went for uh, uh, upgrade, okay, in the second round, you got RVC, you got RVC college, and for RVC, this is the fee, for MSRIT, you paid this much amount. 2,20,000 over here the fees is 3,1,100. Ma'am, do we have to pay the entire amount again? No. Just the balance amount which would be there, okay? That is around like 80,000 something like that you would have to pay. Suppose, on the other hand, RVCE has lesser fees than MSRIT. Then, if RVCE's fees is this much and for MSRIT, it is this much. You already paid this much amount. And over here, the fees is only this much. So you will get a refund in the account from where you paid. So make sure it's your parents' account out there. I hope that clears the confusion out there. Okay. Now, reject an upgrade. What do you mean by that? Third scenario, I got BMS college. Whatever happens, I do not want this particular college at all. I just want to look for an upgrade out there. So what do I do? I reject this college and I look for an upgrade. But since an upgrade is there, okay, since you are looking for an upgrade, still what you have to do is you would have to pay the fee for BMS. I know it's not a right thing to do, but yes, you would have to pay the fee for BMS. That is the total fee up there. In the next round, okay, in the next round, if you get a college with the same fees, it will be adjusted. If you get a college with, as I told you, either you would have to pay extra or you will get a refund. Suppose you didn't get a college. Suppose you didn't get a college, you would have an option to my dear children exit, okay. Uh, by round three, you would have an option to exit the counseling process. You can exit the process, but once you are going ahead with round four, Okay, once you're going ahead with round four, and in round four also you're not getting any seat, it's all cool, not a problem. But in round four, you got round four, you got a college which you do not want to get into, my dear children. There you would not have an option to exit. You would have to pay the fee of that particular college along with some penalty if you do not do so. Okay, you get it? So please understand whatever cancellation, whatever thing you have to do. In these three scenarios, you would have to do before round four starts. Why? Because there is a notice being put over here. So if you go ahead with round four and wish to cancel the previously allotted seat, you will not get the refund. That is basically, for example, I got RVC in first round itself. I am all happy. I paid the fee and things like that. Uh, when round two, round three counseling is happening for other children, I got IIT, some, some seat in IIT. And now I do not want RVC college. Okay, but I've already paid the fee. Now, two scenarios can be there. I have got RVC, round three have reached. Okay, there is seat cancellation period in round three also. I can cancel the seat, I will get my refund. But suppose I was so busy uh, seeing the IIT results and stuff like that, I forgot the seat cancellation rounds and things. Now, everyone is in round four. And in that condition, there is no option to cancel your seat, my dear children. Your money is gone there. You will not get a refund. So if you have got a seat previously, okay, in whatever scenarios, please make sure that you are going ahead with cancellation if you do not want that seat. Why is that so? Because children do not uh, take, uh, what do you call, um, do not know the importance of it other children are losing their seats okay because someone has accepted and they have paid the amount and they're skipping it like that and then not coming to the college does not make any sense right you are making someone else lose the seat which is why this capital punishment has been put up by comet k so if you go ahead with round four and wish to cancel the previously allotted seat you will not get the refund second scenario suppose if you get a seat allotted in round four okay you went ahead okay you went ahead and you got some seat in either of these cases, accept an upgrade or reject an upgrade, you got upgraded, you got a seat, my dear children, you do not have an option to cancel it. You anyway have to pay the fee. 
please understand that so round 4 is actually little bit what you call dangerous khatarnak we say in hindi right so make sure you are doing everything before round 4 ends yeah sorry uh, round 4 begins <laughs> So for every round there are seat cancellation from 1, 2 and 3, make sure you are cancelling your seat if you do not want it and let some other pe pe person get into the college that you are uh, as of now getting, right. Now getting ahead with the fee refund policy one by one, okay. First thing, accept on free status after cancellation period of round 3. I told you right now, okay. So round 3 has passed, cancellation period has passed and you accepted and you froze the seat that is for RVC. You didn't cancel it, my dear children, you are not going to get the refund. So refund is not applicable to you. That is the quest, first thing. Now, candidates exercising the option of reject and withdraw in round 1, round 2 and round 3. Reject and withdraw means, my dear children, for example, I got BMS, I rejected and I withdraw. Withdraw means you are out of counselling. Okay, you have, uh, you are now, uh, what do you call, out of counselling. In that case, you do not have to be worried about anything, but it has to be done within round 3 itself. Okay, in that case, if at all you have paid some fees, it will be refunded to you. Since you are being a good child, you have done it before the round 4 begins, that is why it is all good. Now, reject an upgrade candidate of round 2 or round 3 who did not get any seat in round 4. So, reject an upgrade candidate who went for an upgrade in round 4 but still get, did not get any seat, then it is all cool. You do not have to be worried, okay. Then, my dear children, you will, whatever amount you paid initially for rejection um, and upgradation, that amount you will get it back. But, but. If you get a seat, you have to go also. I told you already, right? Otherwise, you have to go, you have to pay the fee. Now, next thing. Reject and upgrade candidates who clicked on exit after round 3 allotment to exit the counselling process. So, reject and upgrade candidates know at the end of round 3, you will get an option to exit. If you click on that, you will be exiting out of counselling. You will not be going ahead with round 4. In that case, obviously, you will get the total fee, whatever you have paid before, you will be getting it back. But as I told you, if you are getting ahead and getting a seat, there is no option to go back. Now, during or after seat allotment in round 4, in round 4, if you are getting a seat, then there will be no refund and the entire total fee paid will be what forfeited. Okay, you are not going to get any refund out there. Whatever cancellation, everything was there, it has to be done before. Now, candidates cancelling the seats in round 1, round 2 or round 3 seat cancellation period. They are good children, right? They are cancelling in the cancellation period. Then it is totally cool. Total fee paid will be refunded. Convenience fees are not refundable. I hope you understood that. Yes. So, this is the funda behind the fee refund, uh, refund policy and things like that. If you still have doubt, do let me know. I think I tried my level best to explain you guys. If at all you found it helpful, help full do let me know that as well and my dear children um, so this is the fee that you have to pay through comet k through net banking or what do you call there are other methods but it is to comet k make sure you're using your parents account that will be better ask them to do so yes you will get a refund in the in the original account from where you paid okay and also once you get to the college once you get into the college you would have to pay certain different amount of fees out there for example skill lab fees please understand that okay this is something different First thing, when do you go to college? You allotted, you got allotted with the college, you paid the fees, what will you get? You will get a receipt for fee payment. Apart from that, you will got, get another thing for that you are allotted this particular seat. You take both of this together and also certain other documents and you go to the college, okay, wherever you are getting. And there, my dear children, they would be slowly asking you to pay the skill lab fees, okay, which can be going up to 20,000 rupees, which can be. Not a short short thing, it can be 20,000 or it can be 10,000 also, it can be 15,000 also, 1,5, okay. So, 20,000 is the maximum I am putting, okay. Next thing, there is uh, university fee, VTU fee as well. So, again it depends on the category, for example, if you are from Karnataka, the fee will be less, if you are not from Karnataka but from India, the fee will be a bit more higher, if you are out of India, the fee will be very higher, very much high, that is almost around 22,100 something something was the, there the previous year, this is the previous years, not this years, they have not put up, okay. So, this is the previous years data that I am sharing with you. So, you can expect this amount plus if you are residing in some hostel, then the hostel fee as well. Okay, hostel transportation facilities as well. Now, I saw certain comments asking for what do you call the educational loan thing. Now, listen, depends. it depends totally upon college to college and there are so many colleges which is why it would be difficult but if at all I get hold on something that is useful for you, I definitely make a video on it. Okay, listen, we want to help you out in all different ways. Please understand that. 
okay so yeah that's all please take care of yourselves my dear children if at all you have still queries persisting out there put it down in the comment section i hope uh, you could understand at least a bit of it yes hopefully okay bye bye